This is the Tiger Electronics and Shoot the Moon Laser Tag Team Ops Blasters. This is the original deluxe blaster, the one that started it all, that comes with all the headsets and the, even the communication walkie-talk radio radio based devices. Of course, the radios are completely separate, but they go with the system, and they're pretty sure they probably go with all the other blasters. Uh, I'm probably need to remove that identifying mark sooner or later. Anyways, this is one of their basic taggers. This is probably one of the basic blasters right here. Right here, there's a side out, side rails right here. There's one on top for the scope. This is the two barrels. One is for shooting and one is for receiving. This is actually the shoot and this is to receive. This right here is the reload bar. Right over here is the mega slash medic button, the function button. And over here is the controls, the up and down arrow buttons, your reset button, your cancel button, which is also can act as the off button, your display button, and your second function button. Right over here is your shield trigger and your normal trigger. Over here is the switch that is the screen brightness and the indoor outdoor mode switch. And there is the speaker mute switch. And as you notice, Tiger Electronics, both sides. So you turn it on by pressing any button. Sadly, the function button does not go. I'm going to slap it with the reload one. So you see that it says L tag. And as we scroll through, and if this is L tag, this is probably the same. This is probably this is a generic laser tag game without the hosting. You quit. Your, which is basically an off button. Hosts, which means you can join other taggers, such as the LTX and the LTARs, not just the LTO blasters, LTTO blasters, such as the Ma Master Blaster and even the IRT2X. Your join, which is only allowed if you have the hosts online. And back to laser tag. So I'm just going to set this back to the uh, normal laser tag right here. Press OK. And it'll give you a countdown. Good luck. And as you can see, now it's ready. You have your, and if you can see, you have your seconds, your tags, your megas, which is you activate by this button and pulling the trigger while holding the but the function button. You have your shields down here, your ammo counter. And, I, and if you press display, you can see your reloads is unlimited and tags is 10. You make it and you're back to here. You press cancel to deactivate. So, so you basically just press your trigger. Of course, in the older videos, there are these infrared beacons. I'm not sure if you can see them flash in real life. I don't think you could. But I'm pretty sure you might see them through this barrel. Oh, wait. I have to reload. There we go. Yeah, you can definitely see it. It's a tiny faint glow. The older cameras don't have that. Well, the older candle cameras, you can see the infrared beacon a little bit better. This one, the newer iPads, you can't see infrared lights. Just only a tiny, tiny smidge of it. There you go. You can barely see the little flicker. That's the IFF beacons. So, and there's even a little, little trigger right here. That sounds means that your shield is on, and if you want to deactivate your shield, you press it. Now you have nine shields. And I'm pretty sure it takes a cooldown. And I'm going to show you how the mega function work. You have currently ten... So you currently have ten megas. And you can actually load up to ten. 
if I can get the trigger properly. So you hold down function, you get two megas, and if you fire, you get four shots, and you get an overheat. So be warned. Now you have seven mega shots. And I think that's about it right here for this tag here. And I'm gonna show you what it does whenever you get hit by another opponent. Currently I have this plugged into the headsets, so not, you will not hear sounds from this other blaster because it's currently plugged in right now. And my mom told me to have it remain plug in. It's gonna be a, a bit of a hassle. You can tiny, you can actually hear a bit of the sounds. So now this thing is okay. right here, and as you can see, there's a little ex okay. there's a little exclamation point with a triangle, and it will say danger at you. Danger. And if you and if you point it directly at them, danger. there's a lock on. So and I'm pretty sure danger. there's supposed to be light shining through uh, right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I don't think the light works, but it's supposed to shine a light through there. I don't think the light works, but it will shine. But if you shoot right here, or as you can see, it does a confirmation. It will show you that symbol if you get a confirmed hit. And let me go through the um, uh, other side so that way you can see what happens if you do get tagged. And I'm going to load in two mega shots, three mega shots, and destroy this thing. So I'm just gonna go completely destroy Mr. Red Deluxe Blaster. And now it's overheated, but it doesn't matter. It's still one. And once it's done, you basically won the game. And how you get out, you press cancel. Or, it, or all, all the functions don't work. And when you're done, and when you're done, yeah, it will say that you're out, and it remains. And it remains this way to let you know, hey, um, it's no good. And your reload button does not work. All of your functions, and it says game over. And it will show your, your minutes or whatever that is you have. It'll show you how many tags you've you've gotten or how much tags you've been taken, so that way you remember what tags you've been taken from another player, I guess. Uh, then when you're dead, you can just turn it on, and you can start another game. Start it over, and do all that type of stuff. And later, I will show you the communicator and what these do, and I'll show you a bit of a test run of those communicators. I'll be having some actual depth. Uh, button sill batteries, not for testing, but for actual street use. I did use some, but I no, not button sill batteries. I did use a nine volt battery taken from a metal detector that belongs to my parents, just for just that one little test. And I'm gonna give you a bit of a one click a jump cut later to see you and show you what these communicators look like. So here's what the what one of the communicators look like. They give you a 360 view of what they look like right here. This is your channel selector. If you want to select your different channels, just in case if you have like over two or three teams, you can switch a channel and stuff like that. I'm mainly just sending these to channel one since I only have two communicators here. This is your talk button. This is important if you want to talk with one another or if you want to just 
taunt them using this. You can definitely use this, this communicator to taunt the other team just by switching the other channel. Or if you're just uh, one versus, or if you have a one versus one, you can even taunt that way as well. And this is your volume. Once you turn this thing on, it has a red light turning. It has a red light knowing that it's on, is on, and it's going to be blinking, waiting for another person to communicate with one another. But since there's no button cell battery, but since there's no nine volt battery in there, um, these will not work for now. I'm pretty sure my mom has probably went to the store. She's probably going to get some sets of of nine cell bat of nine volt batteries to go with these. I'm pretty sure you hold it like this, and your trigger must be over here, or if you're right-handed. This little grip is supposed to helps us give you. I'm thinking these little patterns are supposed to give you, help you give it from grip. There's also these that there's also these little struts that pops out i'm not sure what they can be meant for i'm thinking maybe just to get a bit of an extra elbow thing or if you just want to hold it like this no wait that's just but all the, but that's just gonna be too ridiculous i'm not sure what people can use this thing for there is a butt loop there is a uh, not butt what? Sorry that I made you laugh. There is a belt loop clip that goes with these, but since there's only one, I don't use these belt loop clips. I mainly put these in my pocket with the top button facing out, so it's easy for us to communicate while we go do laser tag. There's the green version right here. It's the exact same thing, but with a green and orange design. And I'm going to show you what the headsets look like. So here's what the headset looks like right here. It looks just like the one that you see in the picture on my Facebook page. And these are and there's a microphone right over here sticking out, and there's a speaker right over here. Unfortunately, it says it's supposed to be two or three inches over your mouse, but it's too short, but I'm pretty sure it may still pick up your voice no matter what, no matter how long these are. The sound quality for these are pretty good. I'm I was expecting these to be in, in a bit crusher form, but I'm thinking these qualities are still good. They really did not cheap out in, on making this sound quality be po be good. I'm thinking they wanted to keep on doing this because they want to understand another person's voice while you're tagging with the other person. These loops, they can. In fact, pivot, which means not only do you put your belt loop in there, I'm thinking you can also put your own stuff in there. So if I want to put my own little keychain thing, like my little solar-powered blinking LCD keychain, it will work. It does fit. So yes, you can put, you can actually customize your belt loop. As long as it doesn't take too much space for your communicator. You can't customize it with your blaster because your blaster does not have sling mounts. If your blaster does have sling mounts, then it would be a lot easier, but nope. The blaster does not have sling mounts. This is one of the belt clips. Um, I will not recommend having a plastic belt clip like this. I would recommend get a metal I re I recommend you get a two. You get a one of those little aluminum ones that you find at a gas station. These are garbage. They're no good. They're probably going to break in a few coming years. No good. Never recommend it. Use a metal one. Or find any other little belt loop thing that you can find inside your household. And those will also fit through these loops. But anyways, that is the Laser Tag Team Ops in a nutshell. I will be getting some more Laser Tag Team Ops things to go with this set. I will be probably getting... A, maybe I'll get the Master Blaster. Uh, actually, screw it. Master Blasters on eBay. They don't have the rocket, so... I will not go for that. But instead, I will go for a more w lightweight profile. I e IRT 2X. Little Magnum. Which is basically a Magnum version of the Deluxe Blasters right here. 
except without the reload bar. I'm thinking the reload is probably in the bottom of your thing. Oh, wait, no, that's where the thunder pack and your little glasses go. If they want to put a reload in there, I'm thinking the reload would be probably somewhere in the middle or in the end of this barrel. Or on the bottom of the barrel. But if you want to hear what these communicators sound like and know some proof and hear and see some proof, well, here we go. So as soon as you start talking, the communicator will have this red LED constant whenever the other person is start talking and starts blinking when the other person is done talking. Of course, you also have an audible click when the conversation has started, and the speaker quality is pretty decent for a small headset. Well, I hope you already like this review. This is a good imp this is a good review on how these work what these do, and what you can do with these, especially when it comes to the glasses and communicator. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.